The man within. Ah, uh, Mistress Estera. It is well that you are here. That you are here. You are wanted within. I believe Master Al Master Alpha now wishes a word with you. Yeah, smash it off for now. Ah, Bella, there you are. Have you a moment? There's something I wish to, f um, to fain discuss. I must ask you to recall the events which unfolded at the Peace Conference, though I dare say you would sooner forget them. My mind returns again and again to the moment when Nidhogg appeared before the crowd in the guise of, of Estinian. It was a sight to chill the soul, but one which gave me reason to hope that our friend might not be beyond salvation. When you described his faith, um, fateful transformation as his law, I feared him lost forever, but the mere fact that some semblance of his former self endured, uh, endures must surely count for something. Alas, I have no evidence to support this impression. Thus did I turn to your stolen cryo for a more empirical appraisal. And full glad that I am, am I that I did, for it would seem that they have some observations of their own to share. The ladies have just saved us a table at the Forgotten Night. Shall we go? Oh, Tataru. Excellent. Let's not keep our honored colleagues waiting. Let's go find them. Yeah, the Forgotten Night is... Oh, yeah, it's all we... All the way uh, right here, yeah. Well, we can teleport there, luckily. Forgot tonight. Oh, I forgot to give us our new minion. What's our new minion for the day? Our new minion for the day is going to be Little Brickman. Look at the little Brickman from Dragon Quest. I think it was. I forgot which Dragon Quest it was, the event was for. I think it was. Eight or nine, something like that. I don't remember. I went to the wrong room. But yeah, so I yeah, I've been playing MMOs since WoW first came out, and I've played WoW from two thousand and four to like two like nonstop from two thousand and four to like two thousand eighteen. And then I switched over to this. Uh, yeah, I switched over to to Final Fantasy XIV. But I highly recommend it. If you yeah, if you ever see me see me streaming and you have and you started this game up and you have any questions, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer. Hello, Kryl. We have kept you waiting over long, I fear. Not to worry, Alphano. We had some rather fine mulled wine to keep us company. Truth be told, you could have delayed your arrival a few moments more. Uh -huh -huh. Gibrion got the spicing just right this time. His latest batch is not only delicious and warming, but soothing to the humors. Oh, Tataru. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Indeed. But it was not to soothe our humors that we gathered here. Oh, no. Quite right. The matter of that poor dragoon. Yeah, we gotta save a dude. You discovered something. A means to save him? So. Let us not jump to conclusions, shall we? Assess the facts presented, then make an educated analysis, as you were taught. Mm-hmm. Pray, cast your mind back to the moment of Astinian's transformation. Do you recall how you described it to us? Yeah, it was fucking terrible. You spoke of the sudden pangs which racked his body when he took up both of Nidhogg's eyes, and of how his form was twisted thereafter into a shadowy semblance of the Great Worm. Yes. When he appeared at Falcon's Nest, the worm's eyes were fused to his mail. Mm hmm That was what, crazy, too. They were in really Evidently awkward his positions. his armor had been corrupted. Snaking forth from the eyes, I described dark tendrils which entangled his very being. His ether has been all but smothered. Then he is lost to us forever? No, he's gotta rip it out of him, you know? What did I just say about jumping to conclusions? 
Ishtola clearly stated all but smothered. It's smothered, not consumed. Which means if you pry the thing off, you know, it can come back. As I later discovered, her impression matched my own. Though Nidhogg's presence filled my mind's eye, beneath his seething aura, I sensed the merest hint of something else. And after listening to Yishtola's observations, I became more certain of my suspicion that the something else I had sensed was, in fact, the trace of a different will, submerged in the sea of Nidhogg's rage. Oh yeah, Taylor, also really quickly before I progress. Um, if you have any... If I'm not streaming and you have any questions, if you want to play this game or you want to talk about you know, MMOs, we do have a Discord. And if you want to join the Discord, you can you can chat with me there, and I can talk to you outside of stream. Totally, I, for some reason that didn't even come to mind, but yeah, so we have we have a Discord as well. You mean? Yes, tis like that Estinian spirit yet lingers. Yes, yes. Can we not wrest him from Nidhogg's grasp then? Tear the eyes from the armor. That's what I'm saying. We know not if that would serve to separate Worm's soul from man's. None have ever attempted such a feat. Let's be the first. Let's go and grab him and just rip it off. Should it offer even the faintest hope of success, then by the gods, I shall be the first to try. Alpha no. Oh, Alpha no. By all means, hold fast to your hope, but be mindful of the dangers. Even should you succeed in excising the eyes from the dragoon's mail, we have no way of knowing if your friend's soul would survive so violent a separation. And that is to say nothing of the possibility that his would-be savior might become Nidhogg's next host. True. Because if we touch it, but it could what just... what other choice remains to us? Should the opportunity present itself, I will tear those foul orbs from Estinian's armor and trust in the resilience of his soul. Even at the risk of mine own. Because we don't know how, like, parasitic the eyes are. We could rip it off. They could latch onto us. Like, get into our skin. Where it's like meat suits. Ah, I found you at last. Oh, what do you got, Honrio? What do you got for me? A messenger of the Temple Knights came to the manor some few hours past. The Lord Commander humbly requests the company of the Warrior of Light and Master Alphano. Okay. What does Sir Emmerich want? With us? Very well. Thank you, Anawa. Anawa. Sorry, Anawa. That's your name. Not Anrio. It would seem duty calls. Pray see to yours, and we shall return to ours. Let's do it. Thank you, Yishtola. Kryl. Your words have given me hope where there was none. Who's the fucker in the background? Sir Emmerich awaits. I don't trust him. I don't trust the way he's just casually up against that wall. Alphano is allowing his feelings for this dragoon to cloud his thoughts. I worry he may do something rash. Keep an eye on him, would you? Yes, ma'am. We gotta change our necklace transmog as well. It just does not fit our outfit. Mm -mm -mm. Was it Midgard Zomer? Midgard Zomer! They think more of their friend's deliverance than their foe's defeat. But will the history commend their fealty or condemn their folly? Oh, Midgard Zomer, the narrator. That's all he really is in this entire, like, expansion is he's just been primarily a, a narrator for things that are happening. The conference held at Falcon's Nest was to be a celebration of the reconciliation twixt man and dragon. But the lingering shade of Nidhogg, clad in the flesh of the Azure Dragoon, did mark the occasion by spilling the blood of his own kind. A timely atrocity to remind the children of Ishgard that the Dragonsong War was far from over. What are they doing up there? They're just kind of standing there talking. 
That's dangerous, when dude. fear gave way to fury, the call to arms rang out anew. Death to Nidhogg. Death to Nidhogg. Death to Nidhogg. Okay, let's go talk to Sir Amrick, I guess. See what he has for us, you know? Oh, sorry, Alpha now. What news has Sir Emmerich to share with us, I wonder? Uh, we don't need any of this stuff. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Let's see, we, we could go bard gear. We could go money route. I'm gonna go bard gear. We can always make more money. I want to see what the bard gear looks like. Okay, I got an eye patch. Oh, what the okay, what does the chest piece look like? Motherfucker. Okay, let's try this again. That's pretty extra as fuck. That's pretty fu that's pretty extra as fuck. Okay. <laughs> Come on. I hate it when it does that. Anyways. Yeah, that's pretty extra. Okay. An ally for Ishgard. Hmm. I'd say Rick perchance have re um, received word of a Dravanian ad advan advance. Or mayhap he has located Est... That's, that is to say, mayhap Nidhogg has been found. Come. I would hear what Lord Commander has to say. Let's go talk to him. Let's go talk to our boy. My friends, I thank you for coming. You have had news of Nidhogg? Alas, not. Our scouts range far and wide, but they have as yet found no trace of the Great Worm. We dispatched an elite unit of dragoons to reconnoiter the churning mists, but even they returned empty-handed. A pity. Fear not, Alphano. We shall see the worm again soon enough. True. His words at Falcon's Nest attest to that. Mm. Indeed, he is like to come sooner than we would wish. I assume Ishgard's defenses are being bolstered as we speak? With all haste, I mean to call upon every able-bodied warrior at our disposal, from the Knights of the Four Houses to the men and women of the Watch. But I did not summon you to discuss strategy. Okay. What then would you have of us, my lord? I will speak plain. Now that Nidhogg is possessed of both of his eyes, no mortal force we can muster will repel him. That being the case, we must needs recruit an ally of equal strength. We're trying to recruit his brother, Horacevilger, aren't we? You speak of Horacevilger? I fucking knew it. I do. To whom else could we turn? That he is Nidhogg's equal, I do not deny. Nor can I name another. But convincing the reclusive creature to do battle with his own brood brother will be... How shall I put this? Near impossible. It will be no small undertaking. Yeah, yes. Near impossible. Estinian's report was most particular about Horace Velga's unwillingness to involve himself in the affairs of men. But much has changed since your visit to Somal. True. And if there is even a chance that the dragon may be swayed... I must plead our case. Whatever price the dragon asks of me, I shall pay it. Such was my oath, to defend the people of Ishgard. Come what may, my friends, the battle with Nidhogg will mark the end of my tenure as the acting head of church and state. Will you help me discharge this final duty? He really does have really nice hair. Brad's the nicest hair out of all the, out of all the main story characters so far. 
to be honest. We will, my lord. Though I fear our involvement offers no guarantee of success. We'll do our best. We will depart at your leisure. We'll do our best. Thank you. Both of you. The city is yours, First Commander. Let's do it. You're in charge, Lord, Lucia. We shall pray for your swift return. Going now, we went going to Horace Velger right now. It was Sir Emmerich. It grieves me to impose upon you in this matter, but you of all people understand uh, understand the threat we now face. It is no in position, Sir Emmerich, to Bella and I. Ishgard is a second home. After the many battles we have fought and the bonds we have forged, the plight of your nation of your nation has become our own. If there is aught that we can do to aid in the salvation in its salvation, then pray impose all you uh, all you must. You are true friends. Shall we be about our task then? We have no way of knowing when Nidhogg's shade will strike, but we must assume that this is not our ally. Indeed, with that I might not in mind, I have taken the liberty of dispatching a messenger to inform Mistress Tataru that you will be escorting me to Somal. I confess I did not provide the exact ex the details of our destination, as they are yet unknown to me. We will summon Hraisvelger as Zenith in the Churning Mists. Here begin... Ere we begin our ascent, however, I think it best that we pay a visit to Annex Trine. You can advantage in the, up, in the coming negotiations? I do. I will consult with Vidolfnir. I propose that this is part of our concern for her condition. Were she to succumb to her wounds, it would be grave consequences for our alliance. That apart, she may have be able to provide insight into her sire's current state of mind. Well reasoned. The Dravanian Fall lands then. Let's go talk to Vidofnir. See our dragons doing. You better not die on us. To Annex Trine. And she's right above us. Where's the hole? There's the hole. Up we go. Vidolfnir. There you are. Oh, you look, you look fine, Vidolfnir. You look fine. You don't even have a scratch on you. You look great. Healed perfectly. Ah, it is the warrior of warriors and her companions. What bringeth you to my own abode? Forgive us for disturbing your recuperation, Vidolfnir. I hope your wound does not pain you, you over much. Didst thou imagine me close to death? The thrust was deep, but not mortal. I will heal in time. Well, glad I am to hear it. You were the guest of honor at our conference, and we feared in our duty to pro of protection. On behalf of Ishgard, I apologize unreservedly. I am a dragon full grown, and thou thought to protect me, mortal. I was tempered by the fires of battle ere the, thy great grandsire learned to crawl. Thy words do remind me of a knight whom I called friend some thousand years past. He swore to defend me from harm and hardship. But that we could retur return to that ear of peace. When man and dragon knew much com com comradeship. But that our effort uh, to do so were not undone by our by ancient rancor. 
For truth, there can be no peace while Nidhogg's shade yet lingereth. That much is plain. We yet lack the, the strength to banish him. Thus do we make um, for Storm Arl to beseech the aid of your sire once more. Folly, thou knowest as well as I he will answer. how he will answer. May Svelga's heart remains unchanged then. A pity. But it, if it is folly to hope, I am confident to, confident to die a fool. As hath ever been the way wa with thy kind. Go then, but be warned. The Shade's presence hath driven its minions to frenzy. Thank you, Vidofnir. We shall um, disturb your rest no longer. Ooh. Oh, my head. Vidofnir's voice is very airy and it's giving, making me lightheaded. Oh, God. Okay, what do we got? Let's take, uh... Let's take some of this food. <laughs> I don't. I felt like I was going to. I'm be honest. I was forcing it out as much as I could. Yeah, we got food. Let's put it over a here. The rest of our food. Oh, we might as well eat it. To be honest, we haven't eaten food in a while. There we go. Winning over the worm. Though I expected no better answer from Vidofnir, I take little pleasure from having been proven right. It would seem that our presence at Zenith will be every bit of as unwelcome as I, as I had anticipated. But what is the eye of one great worm to a trio of self-confessed fools such as ourselves? Let us begin our ascent. After you, Master Arthur, now. Scout ahead if you wish, Bella. We shall join you outside of Margholm. You mock home to see the Moogles. Ba doop, ba doop. To the Moogles. There they are. I'd heard tales of the, wor the world above the clouds, but never did I dream. One's mind paints a pale picture of its majesty. You live to see such, wonder such wonders. I am reminded of my first visit to this peak, when Estinian in, the, in, in sail uh, yet walked at our side. Ooh, Mog! Which one are you? Koopa Koopa, is that you, Bella? Who is it? Who be? You all look the same, to be honest. Oh, but isn't Mog... Mog, uh... Don't tell me you've forgotten my name, Koopo. After all we've been through together. Moggle Mog? At least you remember me. Y you do... You you do remember me, don't you, Bella? Is it Moggle Mog? Moglin! It's Moglin. How could I forget you, Moglin? It's Moglin, right? How could you mistake me for such overstuffed throne warmer? I'm Moghan, you courageous, the courageous Moogle who guided you to Zenith, Koopo. Oh, shit. That was my second guess out of three. Putting your shared history to one side, what brings you, you and your friends to Mogholm, Koopo? Uh, I'm sorry. Another audience with old Harry Svelger. Well, I hope you brought the, the horn, Koopo. But the winds, as gentle as they are, as good loud toot should reach the great worm his eye and ears easily enough. That is good to hear, Moghan. Thank you. It would best pass on, uh, press on to Zenith while the winds are in our favor. Let's go. Let's do it. Do it to it. Oh, Moghan, I'm sorry. And that was unexpected, Koopo. Chieftain Moglin will want to hear about this. 
Oh yeah, Moglin's the chief. Yeah. It's been, it's been so long, Moghan. I'm sorry. Then you got Mogzy and Moghan. What's that one over there? This one's name is uh doesn't have a name. That one's unnamed. That's the one I'll probably remember the most. Okay, let's off we go. So casual. To the top of the spire. Oh, down, down, yonder. Oh, it's right there. That's where we're going. In Zenith. It's Mike Wazowski's found form. Yeah, exactly. He grows wings and longer arm and longer limbs, essentially, and a tail. Mike Wazowski, dude. Crazy shit. That's not a toot. Straight up music. That's not even a toot. Grace Velger, we call this upon you. Please don't be mean to us. You made a book. Congratulations, Casey. Grace Velger. Rawr. I'm sorry, sir. Great race, Velga. Tis not lightly that we beg this audience. Pray hearken to our words, for they concern the future of man and dragon both. Greetings, Race Velga. I am Emmerich de Burel, acting ruler of the nation of Ishgard. I am come before you to parley on behalf of my people. Yes, that's exactly why we came here. You did great, Casey. You did great. You foresaw mine intent. Only 40 minutes? Easy. I need to get started on my books, too. Just kind of trying to ask for help. I'm sorry. We understand that in your despair at man's betrayal, you seek only the refuge of solitude. But despite your protestations of spent faith, do you not still nurture the smallest flame of hope? Hey, congrats on getting out of your first class, Casey. 
I do. If you claim I see falsely, then tell me. Why did you consent to bear Rizel upon your back? True. Is Okay, makes sense, makes sense. <clears throat> so you do distinguish between those who acknowledge and repent their sins and those who perpetuate them. Interesting. <laughs> it seems to me that you have not, in fact, lost faith in mankind as a whole. Rather, you weigh our respective merits by how we allow the past to influence our future. I'm sorry, Casey. <laughs> True, he brings up a good point. I wish you all the luck in the world, Casey. Hopefully you get your phone quick. Should we suffer ties of blood to bind our hands then? Nay, if the crime is one of unconscionable evil, we must needs condemn it, even should the transgressor be our closest kin. When my father corrupted himself and his followers with the power of a primal, I beseeched the warrior of light to slay him, an act alike to patricide. That he did not die by my hand matters little. If anything, it heaped greater disgrace upon my name. True. But had my father not fallen, he would have drawn countless thousands into a holy war of hellish proportions, which I hold the greater crime. Thus did I order his execution, sparing the lives of my people and yours. Alas, your brother Worm now prepares to murder those whom I sought to spare. What is more, he has taken my comrade's body for his own. But if I must slay my dearest friend to defeat my direst foe, I will not flinch from my duty. Come on, Ray Spilger, come on. Edgar Zomer, you're coming to help? Talk to your son. Emric's voice is nice too, doesn't does have Emric doesn't have a flaw. He is perfect in every single way, shape, or form. And that's that is his flaw. His flaw is being too perfect. Utter perfection is a red flag because if it's they're per, if they're too perfect, then there's obviously something really wrong with them deep down. Yeah, talk to your son. While this shade of vengeance remains, the future will ne will ever be uncertain. Help us save our companion. No, yeah. While the shade, mm, mm, both of these can be taken in the wrong way. Let's do the shade one. While the shade remains, the future is uncertain. Okay, 
Let's do it. Let's meet. Let's meet him at at, at the place. I'll see you there, Horace Velger. I'll see you there. Oh my god, it's a Mog. Is that Mog Han again? Mm, spying on us, huh? Let's go. Let's get a move on. I believe I spied a wy wyvern landing just outside the palace. It's doubtless one of the children of whom Horace Vilger spoke. Come, my friends, let's not keep our escort waiting. To the wyvern, just down here. Wyvern. Her Imperious Wyvern. My rude mates and I will bear you to the place of your trial. Make your preparations. We are prepared. Oh, score a Kai. It's an instance. Score a Kai. Let's do it. 13 minute wake. Oh, God. Well. In the meantime, I guess we're gonna go and do some triple triad. Reminds me a little bit of the sand snake. Yes, like, are you talking about like the color scheme and everything? And like, I think it's this. I think it's the neck specifically, like the neck and the head, along with the color scheme. I totally can see it. It's like the stripes, you know. Let's go to the gold saucer. Go to the gold saucer and uh, do some triple triad while we wait for the cue to pop. Quick second. Triple triad, we're going this way. We gotta keep winning cards. Eventually, we gotta get enough points to get the mounts here. There's so many mounts to get, dude. Yo, huh? Jonas, I'm here for you. Okay. Bring him, motherfucker. You think you can beat me with these cards? So I think you, uh, uh, fucked up. Didn't get what we needed. Well, we keep on playing. We need, to, we need a card from him that's not Ixal. And then we'll have all the cards from him. Should be good. Yeah. Still nothing. Give us what we need. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah.
Still nothing. Come on now. Give me the card. RNG sucks, man. My RNG is always terrible. I've never had good RNG. That's an Ixal card. We already got that one. We need the one that's not Ixal. Come on, come on, give me the card, give me the card. Give me the card I seek. Nothing. And we go again. Eventually we'll get it. Eventually we'll get it. Excel card again. Loft house cookies. Oh my, what loft house? I need to find a photo of loft. If there, I need to make sure that the cookies I'm thinking of before I make a response. Let me let me Google loft house cookies really quick. Oh. Oh, are you talking about like the the like the uh? Yeah. You're talking about like just the, those, those like really fake sugar cookies. I fucking love them. I love the, I love those really fake sugar cookies. I think they're great. It's one of those moments where you just need pure sugar. Another fucking Excel card. We just need pure sugar in your diet. So you eat just like an entire case of those. You know what I mean? I think they're great. I, 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 it's cause like they're really, I don't know, they're a weird type of cookie. And then if you add on to the fact that like half of like 50% of the entire cookie is just like fondant, it just makes it better. I love fondant. So I think they're great. I think they're awesome. I, those are the kind of cookies where it's like if I have to pick up cookies for like a party or something, I'll get those and then I'll eat them if no if everyone complains. Give me the other card, dude. I don't want Excel cards, dude. Yes. Okay, it was the Moogle card we were missing. Now we don't have to fight this guy anymore. Nice. On to the next one. Oh, we just have to get this guy's cards. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh no, we have to get his prize card. I, I don't even remember what it is. Oh, this is gonna suck. This is the tutorial, guys. We have to go through the long ass tutorial every time we fight him. Come on. I don't think it gives us anything good either. Come on. Play your turn. Play your turn. Play more turn. Come on now. Come on now. Bum bum ba ba da 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 da. 
Oh no, you took one of my cards anyways. No, we have to rematch him. No. Oh yeah, triple tried music is so good. It's, it's addicting. When I played Final Fantasy, oh god, Final Fantasy 8, when I 100%ed of it, 100%ed it, I think it was two years ago. I was, I was, for the first probably 60 hours of me playing the game, it was just me playing Triple Triad back to back to back nonstop. And it was just this song for 60 hours straight. Shit is so good. Yada, yada, yada. Give me the card, give me the card, give me the card. Oh no, we have to rematch him again. Give just me my god, just give me the card. Just give me the card, man. Oh no. Uh I don't like having to fight the tutorial, man. When I played when I played this on my main, I immediately uh won the card from him so i never had to fight him again please yeah true rng luck yeah that's the only bout of luck i've ever had in in, in r when it comes to rng Yes, is the Spriggan guard. Oh, thank the Lord. Now we never have to fight him again. Oh, thank goodness. We're at 11 minutes almost on this timer. Sudden death and ascension. We don't really have that many ascension cards. I guess we'll just go with this. Yeah, we don't really have a less ascension cards yet. Is gonna be this is this match is gonna be pure luck getting all of her stuff. It's gonna be risky, risky, risky. Yep. Seven now. Now mine's an eight. Now it's an, now it's an eight. yeah. keep hoping for the best and we lost yeah so hard yeah, we gotta make an ascension deck as best we can not achievements whoops I put gold saucer decks ascension we have any cards for ascension even if one primal card the beast man card, it's a beast man card, that's a beast man card. All we have is three beast men and a primal. Not really much to do ascension. I guess we'll have to fight her again another time. We'll fight her again another time. What does this guy do? Okay, we can fight this guy. Ooh, ultimate weapon. Well, aren't you cool, buddy? Lucky this. But here, we'll win. Easy. Nothing, though. Oh, we're going into this instead. You know, triple triad can wait. This is more important. Dungeon time. Story Kai. Ooh, there's music.
Let's do it to it. Sorakai. Let's see, we got a samurai, a black mage, a white mage, and a and a paladin. Oh, this this dungeon has great music. They're literally just thwomps. You're not wrong. They're straight up just thwomps with the arms. That's a creature. Oh, this is the Enchanted Fan. That's a creature from Fall Fantasy V. on moving get this enchanted fan out of here see it, okay so in Final Fantasy 5 with it being all pixelated and stuff I always thought that the enchanted fans were straight up just uh I always thought they were uh, massive faces on top of the fans I didn't realize until I saw like a video that explained it, I didn't realize they were actually like women statues on fans. Woo! I flew. on moving look more thwomps that thwomp is angry at me Got chucked into the sky, dude. The healer needs to start uh, healing. Our thing's gotten so low to health so often. And the tank needs to start uh, tanking because the healer's taking a lot of damage. First boss. Oh my god, it's a Moogle. Oh my god, Chieftain Moglin. Moglin's the first boss? Moglin, how could you? How could you, Moglin? I trusted you. It's straight up, uh, like, uh, Nightmare Before 
Christmas vibe. Oh my god, I got hit so hard from that. That was a fuck up by me. I wasn't looking. I was looking at chat. Whoops. I got hit so fucking hard. Take out Mog when he's so low in health. Easy fights, dude. And now we're back to the angelic music. I wonder the next boss is going to be. If it was going to be Chieftain Moglin. Oh, uh, you're fine, Ashes. No, if anything, I should be paying attention to boss fights. I wonder what the next... If, if he was... If the first boss was our friend. Or like an ally of ours. What's the second boss going to be? Oh, it's literally, it's just going to be Moghan now. It's like, how dare you? He's going to be turned into some elder church god being that's like 20 times the size of like, uh, of Moglin. The true god being. Look at all these eggs. They're Anzu eggs. We need to break them before they fucking hatch. tried so hard to break them. Oh, I got their baby cockatrice now. Die, oh, yeah, fuckers. Why is the healer, like, in the middle of combat? He's, like, standing in front of everything. That's not good. That's how you die, sir. Did it. Breaking down walls. Fighting zoos, dude. Breaking down walls. Let's go get the these little little chickens. Die of small chickens. Why must I take damage? Another zoo, get him! Get the fucker! Yeah, my katana! Looks like the DPS needs a small break, so we're gonna, I guess, give him a small break. The uh, Black Mage he almost died. Where's the healer? I don't know. Yes, one of them needed a break. Oh, it's the healer. Healer needed a break. Where are we going? I thought we were giving him a break. The healer said, "Wait, I'm not helping." I'm not getting into this fight. The healer said said wait, therefore I wait. I'll watch though. That's a lot of guys, my dude. Guess I'll help. If I die, I swear to God though. You don't have a healer. This is your own fault. You've done you've done this to yourself. Don't run away, face it like a man. The healer said, wait. And now we all die because of you. I guess it's just me. Uh, yeah, I died.
the the tank started getting a little snippy. So I'm like, dude, the guy said to wait. <laughs> Yeah, literally, they ran away from the fight they started. Hey, I almost finished it. If I had just a little bit more health, if I had just a little bit more attack power or something, I would have been able to finish that fight. I killed the other, the, I killed the second enemy. The, the last enemy only had a little bit of health left. Must be wait for healer. Yeah, what point did they real? I think they realized there was no healer the moment that they weren't getting heals and they started to run away. <laughs> like, bruh. Stand in the fight like a man. Oh, we wait and we wait and we wait and we wait and wait. Yeah, sunshine. What other random things do we have? Oh, we have the Halloween ones. Pumpkin. And pumpkin. Wah. Oh, spooky. Halloween, the only event that really matters. Yeah, I mean, the, the Valentine's Day uh, loot, you know, it's half a heart. We have to wait for someone else to use the other half to get the full animation. It's like, yeah, okay. Oh. What are they looking at me for? They slowly walked over to me. What are they doing? Woohoo, let's go. The healer is ready. Now the tank isn't moving. He did. Oh my god, the, the tank is being hella passive aggressive. Like, just tell us and we'll wait. It was like, bruh, he did and you didn't. So, like. At what point? <laughs> How much, how much does he have to tell you to wait before you wait? He said one second, literally in all caps by accident. But he said one second nonetheless. Dude, this passive aggressive people, dude. What do we got, what do we got? Oh, my stuff's better. Oh, off we go. The next boss, which is a horse with wings. Podiraj? Pod Podiraj? Something or other. It's a horse. It's a fire horse with wings. Uh, Put some stab on it. Ow. You bastard. I'm going to stay to the side of it, dude. I ain't stacking with people. Oh no, here it comes. Where, what side is it coming from? This way. Run! Oh. Whoops. Oh, I didn't realize that there was an opening right there. Well. I didn't notice. That was my bad. Dang, dead! Healer was not healing. This is a clusterfuck of a fight. Holy shit. We got this. Is that less than half health? We got this. I think 
attack, big attack, big attack, big attack, bah! You fucker. Okay. Ow! This way! I did it! I did the mechanic! I need to start healing myself, dude. I'm gonna die if I don't. Now we were in a sticky situation, but we got through and that's what matters. What do we got? We got a uh, ooh headpiece that's worse than mine, but does it look good? It looks okay. I'll, I'll need it for trans. I'll need it for transmog. And I'll greed this one. There we go. Off we go. Oh yeah, the tank doesn't have his tanking stance on. That makes so much sense as to why I'm dying right now. I'm gonna die. The tank fucked me. The tank is not paying attention. I, I, this tank is just a... I'm just gonna watch. I don't trust this shit, dude. The tank doesn't have his tanking stance on. You can see it right here. It's gonna be like, it'd be like a little yellow light thing. I'm just gonna watch. I'm not gonna participate in a fight I just died in. Please. Yeah, oh, there we go. Now he has it on. Bro, this guy needs to start paying attention to chat. Didn't know I lost tank stance. They were literally, they were spamming, turn it on, turn it on, turn it on, turn it on, turn it on. Grace Vulgar. This guy needs to pay attention to chat. First, the whole healer saying he'll be right back and him not waiting. And now this. He just needs to watch chat. That's all I'm saying. Honest mistakes, but could have easily it could have been fixed a lot sooner. Is all I'm saying. I took that fireball like a champ. Even though I didn't, I really shouldn't have. I got a scarf. Loot. Loot. Not mine. Greed and what are these con? Eh, they're okay. I'll greed them. Blizzard dragon, a go. Oh, there we go. Run tank, you're the tank. If you run, we'll have to follow. He's just gonna chase you. Don't back down. It's all good. We got you, buddy. Loot. Loot. Read. I'm coming. Oh, boss fight, boss fight. Ooh. Final boss. It's defeat Hrasvelger. Oh, no. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. We we almost died to a horse. How are we gonna fight a dragon? Uh, uh, a big dragon at that.
How does one fight big dragon? Cool, okay. I'm coming. Oh no, it's one of these fights. It's one of these fights. Bada boopy. <laughs> It's one of these fights where we have to constantly hop from place to place, essentially. To avoid attacks. Uh, 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 uh. You bastard. I got this one. He's over there. I have to go all the way around, dude. Oh my god. I'm coming. Don't worry, you guys. I'm coming. I'm almost there. There, I'm here now. You, you can all rest assured, I'm here. Diamond Storm? Ow. Ice thing over there. It's shooting things. Get me the fuck off this. I'm going this way. I need. I, I need to kill. Yeah, we need to kill that thing all the way over there. Ow. I'm gonna fucking die. Oh god, he's on top of me. We need to kill this thing. We are running out of spaces. If I'm being honest, we are running out of, out of land. Are they still shooting stuff at us? Oh yeah, they are. This is not good. This is not good. We gotta kill this thing quick. Before he, we die. Ah, I died. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to spawn right on top of those fucking things. We just aren't killing these things quick enough. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got them all. You gotta avoid those fucking flying comets over there, dude. Don't let it hit us. We're gonna die if they do. Gone? Okay. We gotta go over there. This way. Okay. We got the, we got the fucking thing. Let's take this boy out. Let's take this boy out. Come at me, buddy boy. Oh, I, I just realized I don't even have a limit break on my bar. I need to put limit break on my bar. How are we supposed to do awesome limit breaks without limit break? We beat him. Bye, Harris Felger. Prophet's chest wrap, dude. Prophet's chest wrap. That's actually really nice. I actually like that a lot. I wish I could need it. Where's the limit break? I need to put limit break on my bar. I can't believe I, I don't have it on my bar. Limit break. There we go. I can't believe I didn't have it on my bar, dude. There we go. 
Sir, please, for the prophet's chest wrap. Yes, we got the transmog dude. The good transmog dude. Transmogs are everything. They're everything in life. I have to have a, a stylish outfit. This one's okay, but like I need more, better. Trusting us. I love you, Harry Spelker. You're the bestest. Your trial is ended as well, then. We all did it. Mine was brutal beyond reckoning. But Falnir seems ill acquainted with the notion of mock battles. I fought Harry Svelger himself. Time in Yes, let's take out Nidhogg. We did it. We gained his trust one last time. <laughs>